Liberal Viewer presents. So when Slate Magazine culture blogger Aisha Harris wrote last week about how having a white Santa Claus when she was a kid was alienating for her as an African American and suggested that Santa Claus should be changed in the story to a penguin, the article was a little offbeat but interesting and certainly never suggested that having a white Santa was racist, but you'd never know that from the strong reaction her article got from formerly supposedly straight news anchor turned Fox News opinion host Megan Kelly on her new show, The Kelly File, as you can see in this clip. And when I saw this headline, I kind of laughed and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. But this person is just arguing that that maybe we should we should also have a black Santa. But, you know, Santa is what he is. And just so you know, we're just debating this because someone wrote about it, kids. Now, that seemed not only inaccurate and kind of weird, but it was obviously an important part of Megyn Kelly's message to the kids there that Santa not only just is white, but that he's real, which Megyn Kelly actually repeated when she also asserted that Jesus was white in this clip. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, yeah. Jesus was a white man too, but you, you know, it's like, we have, he was a historical figure. I mean, that's a verifiable fact, as is Santa. I just want right. the kids watching to know that. There it is again, that weird message to the kids, though exactly who these kids are watching a right-wing Fox News opinion show, I'm not sure, as Jon Stewart pointed out as part of his great stirring of Megyn Kelly's commentary and her weird message to the kids in this clip. Who are you actually talking to? <laughs> Children who are sophisticated enough to be watching a news channel at 10 o'clock at night, yet innocent enough to still believe Santa Claus is real. <laughs> yet racist enough to be freaked out if he isn't white. Why? That's such a narrow... Hmm, now I have my own analysis of the narrow, specialized group to which Fox News is broadcasting that I'll get to at the end, but in case you think Megyn Kelly's argument that Santa Claus just is white was only a recognition of how Santa's portrayed in the media, or that her argument was just meant as a joke, as I'll show Megyn Kelly claiming later, Check out how Fox News contributor Monica Crowley picked up on Megyn Kelly's argument, claiming it was both factual and historical in this clip. Santa Claus is based on St. Nicholas, who was a, an actual person, a Greek bishop, uh, and was a white man. <laughs> now, the historical facts don't really support Monica Crowley's claim there, as Jon Stewart was also quick to point out back on The Daily Show here. Of course, the real St. Nicholas was from a part of the world that is now Turkey, and according to forensic scientists who studied research originally commissioned by the Vatican, he probably looked something like this. <laughs> so... Who exactly is changing the facts to make themselves more comfortable here? Actual St. Nicholas? Well, my guess is there'd be no Christmas if he looked like that dude, because he's probably still on the no-fly list. <laughs> <laughs> now, I thought that satirical skewering of Megyn Kelly and Fox News was pretty funny, and Jon Stewart and the writers at The Daily Show are some of the top comedians in America, so it was pretty unpersuasive when Megyn Kelly came back at the end of the week to react to the criticism of her by saying the whole thing was a joke and her critics were humorless in this clip. I realize that the piece by Harris, which went on to argue that Santa should be a penguin, was also tongue in cheek. That's in part why we covered the story in the first place. Humor is a part of what we try to bring to this show, but sometimes that is lost on the humorless. Hmm, now not only is calling Jon Stewart humorless an unpersuasive defense, but I'm not sure how anyone who watched the original segment could buy Megyn Kelly's additional claim she was just acknowledging how Santa Claus is depicted in the media that you can see here. From Miracle on 34th Street to the Thanksgiving Day Parade to the National Christmas Tree Lighting, we continually see Saint Nick as a white man in modern day America. Should that change? Well, that debate got lost because so many couldn't get past the fact that I acknowledged, as Harris did, that the most commonly depicted image of Santa does in fact have white skin. By the way, I also did say Jesus was white. As I've learned in the past two days, that is far from settled. <laughs> so I'm glad to see Megyn Kelly acknowledge there that she was also wrong about Jesus being white, but there was no apology for her misstatement of fact on a supposed news network. No lesson learned to check her facts more carefully before making such definitive statements. Instead, you can see Megyn Kelly explain the lessons she learned from the whole world mocking her for her misstatements in this clip. 
For me, the fact that an offhand jest I made during a segment about whether Santa should be replaced by a penguin has now become a national firestorm says two things. Race is still an incredibly volatile issue in this country, and Fox News and yours truly are big targets for many people. <laughs> so that's the lesson. No culpability for the race baiting by Fox News or for factual misstatements. Well, I think Jon Stewart got part of the truth behind Megyn Kelly's non-apology and claim of being a target when he described it like this. A Fox News segment expressing anger and victimization over the loss of absolute power and reframing that as persecution of real America by minorities, freeloaders, and socialists. <laughs> That's trademarked, by the way. <laughs> now, I don't dispute Jon Stewart's trademark description there about Fox News reframing anger about loss of power into persecution by minorities, freeloaders, and socialists, but I think that's just one of the many fictional reframings that happen on Fox News all the time. What's so striking about Megyn Kelly's weird attempt to let the kids watching know that a fictional character is real was the way it's really a microcosm of the entire Fox News enterprise reassuring right-wingers with pleasant fictions that soothe their sensibilities. And the clearest evidence that's what's happening is the way Fox News contributor Monica Crowley claimed it couldn't happen in one of the most amazing statements of all in that original Santa Just Is White segment that you can see here. You know, you can't take facts and then try to change them to fit some sort of a political agenda or a sensitivity agenda. <laughs> so what do you think? Was Megyn Kelly's argument that Jesus and Santa are white just a reframing of the loss of power as victimization, as Jon Stewart argued? Or, as I argued, is the reframing of the loss of power as victimization just one of the many ways that Fox News consistently treats fiction as fact to play to the sensitivities of what's hopefully an increasingly narrow segment of the population? I, YouTube, you decide.